Welcome back to our 17th video on HTML and CSS. In the last video, we added a background image to our homepage, and this is what we're looking at. In this video, we're going to add our web content. So we're going to create some CSS div ID tags. So I'm going to pull up my page, my style.css page, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And uh, what are we doing? Oh, we want to create a div wrapper. So I'm going to create an ID. I'm going to call it wrapper. And you don't have to call it wrapper, but it's kind of common in the CSS HTML world to call your content of your page your wrapper but again it doesn't have to be called wrapper it's just something you need to remember and how are we gonna create this bad boy how long do I want this to be I want it to be 900 pixels in width close that out and I can't find that button I'm never gonna find that button and in height I'll do a thousand yeah that'll work and again, I apologize for being the worst speller in the world. And what else do I want? What else do I want? I want a background color. Oh, I want margin because I want to know how I want the browser to position this wrapper. So for margin, we'll type in zero pixels because I want there be to be no margin, zero pixels in between the top and bottom. And for the left and right, I want them to be the exact amount of distance from the end of the browser. So I'm going to type in auto. And then I want our background color just to be white. Yeah. And you can either type in white or if you know the hex pattern, it's FFF, FFF. And we'll go ahead and close that out. I'm going to save it. And now we need to call it in our index.html file. So now that we created in our CSS, we need to source it in. So it's div ID equals wrapper close it out and it's pretty safe to say to put our closing div tag at the at the end of our body or right before the end of our body because all of our content is going to go inside here so we're going to save that and we're going to open this up in a browser and there it is perfect that's what we want so I want to talk a little bit about the margin property that we did because we set it up so the content has zero pixels in between the top and the bottom down here and we set it up so it's it, it we set it up as auto, which is the same amount as the left on the right hand side. So this is perfect. And again, it's 900 pixels in width. That's 900 pixels, and it's a thousand pixels in height. So again, I want to talk a little bit about this margin CSS property because with the margin property, as well as a couple other or a few other CSS properties, they can contain up to four values, one to four values. So if you type in one value zero pixel it's going to refer to all of all of the um, the corners or the sides of your browser it's going to refer to your top your right your bottom and your left browser if we do two values so we'll say like 10 pixels now your first value the zero px this refers to your top and your bottom and your second value refers to your left and right so we'll save this and we'll get rid of Actually, I'm not going to save this. I just want to talk about this. So again, right now, our top and bottom, we have a mar we have a margin of zero, and on the left hand side, it's a margin of ten. If we want to do four values, so we'll do like ten px and fifty px. Now, this represents each side of your of your browser. You have your top right here, you have your right browser, your right side right here your bottom right here and your left right here. But I don't like typing in four values. I like to just keep it at one or two. So again, for our margin, for our top and bottom, we want to keep it at zero. We don't want any of our background image to get in there in between the top of the browser and our wrapper content. And for the left and right, I want to set it to auto, which you can do if you just want it to have, if you want to have a responsive browser, which means if I minimize Okay, so let's find my browser. If I minimize it or bring it in, the left and right side is still going to be the same. You see that? So, yeah. So we created our wrapper, and in the next video, we'll talk a little bit about padding. So subscribe to my channel. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.